Hey everybody, I hope you're having a really good day. It was a really busy Tuesday for me. I've been up since uh, ooh, four o'clock this morning and I did payroll. I created online forms or helped create online forms. I just answered phone calls, did accounting, collections, did lots of stuff today. What the most important thing in my heart was the very first thing I did was talk to God. Before my feet hit the floor, I'm always talking to God. I love sometimes just to sit and be quiet and sit with him or to hear his voice. I love early morning. I love that moment, that time with God. I was trying to think of, well, you know, I was waiting for God to tell me what he wanted me to talk about today. Normally he just downloads something into my head or my heart. He gives me a verse or something and then I just go from there. Well, today he didn't give me a verse, but he gave me a pillow. It's this really pretty pillow. And it says, um, leaves and pumpkins, please. <laughs> leaves, and, leaves and pumpkin, please. It's fall all over the world. But here in the South, it doesn't really ever, um, I don't know that it gets folly. <laughs> it does get a little cooler. The weather does lighten up a little bit for us, but it's normally just hot. But up North, there are the changing of the seasons. And it's so beautiful to see the leaves change colors and, in the winter when the leaves fall and the snow crystallizes on the trees and it looks like glass, like a glass forest in the woods. I really enjoyed that. But in our lives, we can be in different seasons than other people. And when we look at our friends or maybe somebody at church or coworkers or things like that, and we think, gosh, how come they're so far ahead? How come this is what's working out for them? And, and I've been just killing myself trying to do this. Well, we're not all in the same season. God moves us along in our own time. It says he is faithful to complete the good work that he starts in us, even unto the coming of Christ. So sometimes we're in a winter season, um, a fall season. Sometimes we're in a pruning season. Not my favorite, but just like the gardener when he cuts all the dead branches off and gets rid of all the bad things on the tree, sometimes there's poison on the tree. Sometimes there are infections on the tree too. And the gardener cuts all that stuff off. So when the spring comes, when it's time for the tree to bloom or the plant to bloom, it can bloom and it can bear fruit and it can bear much fruit. Sometimes we're carrying things that we shouldn't carry and God has to prune those things off of us. And sometimes it's hard to let go. So in that pruning season, we might be fighting God. We might be trying to hang on to something that he said, hey, let go of this. I have something better, I promise you. There is nothing in your past that is going to be better than what I have for you now and in the future. I have better for you. Hear my voice, let go. Let me cut away all the dead, diseased things in your life. Let me cut away all the bad relationships, all the inappropriate friendships, or bad friends, people who are bad influences on you. Like you may be doing really good, but there's that one friend of yours that can get you to do absolutely anything and you love them. You've been friends maybe for a really long time, but maybe they're not really good for you spiritually. And God's saying, hey, it is time to let go. Or maybe you're in a winter season and everything just, you look around and everything just looks dead. There doesn't look like there's any life. But I promise you, if you've been planting those seeds, God will take them in the spring and he will water them. He'll bring sunshine and there will be much fruit from your faithfulness. Sometimes it doesn't, things aren't what they appear. There's that verse that says that God is a God who works behind the scenes. And there's that song that we all love so much. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I can't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. Because he's our way maker. I love that song. So whatever season you're in, and maybe you're in a spring season and everything is blooming and everything's working out right, then be thankful. Be grateful. Talk to God. Tell him. 
thank you so much for bringing me to this place, to this time. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you that I am able to be able to move forward, to be a blessing to myself, my family, the kingdom, Lord God. I know that all of this is from you. Every season is important. Every season matters. And every season helps us grow closer to God and closer to the goals that he has for us. So this time of the year, even though it might be fall, all over the country and all over the world, we might be in different seasons of heat, different seasons of coolness. Uh, leaves might be starting to turn. Appreciate where you're at because you're still here. You and I are still alive. We made it. The enemy did not destroy us. We are in our right minds and we are still loving God. That is a victory. So today, let's celebrate our victory. The fact that we're still here and that God is with us and he is for us. Remember to be kind. Lend hope to someone today. You never know what private battle someone's going through. Share the love of Christ where you can. And ask God to help you find someone to share your story with. To share his love and how God rescued you. And tonight when you lay down, I pray that you sleep sweet. And that you dream dreams and that God gives you visions and ideas to help move you to the next stage in your life. To get you higher up on that mountain. Further along in your walk. I love you. And I pray that you sleep sweet. God bless. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night.